<laughs> what kind of tools do you need for your bicycle garage? Stay tuned. Whatever you like. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you like. <laughs> Perfect. Run uh, Do it. Uh, okay. What? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, and thanks for stopping by. Hey, welcome back to Bernie's Garage. What's up, Bernie? Hey, what's up? Welcome. We are not working on bikes today, even though we got the Monza and then we also got the Hutch uh, out. We're actually going to be going for a ride uh, after this. This is going to be a short video. And we only get to hang out with each other like once a week. And yep. so we got to try and make the most of it. So we're shooting a short video today and then we're going to jump on the bikes. Uh, before we start talking about the tools that you need for your bicycle garage, uh, let's do a couple of shout outs again. So we're going to uh, do a, a shout out to, first of all, how's my Wheel Talk merch? Want to send a shout out to Elton. Go check out his channel. Him and Polly C. If you guys ever want to see what's happening in Hawaii bike life, uh, these two guys, super positive, uh, always promoting you know bike life in Hawaii. Go check them out. But let's talk about a couple of our um, watchers, our stalkers, our viewers, whatever you want to call them. I don't know. I, YouTubers. I, I can never figure out what to call a viewer. I guess it's just a viewer. I don't know. Anyway, people. We got two people we want to shout out. One is BC Bikes. This dude um, has an he has a channel uh, of his own, and he is he's a smart mechanic. Um, yeah, the technical guy. Yeah, we're not the smart mechanics. We're kind of like I kind of lazy, but I just <laughs> throw them together. Yeah. We're the guys that just kind of like love bikes and then we try stuff out and even if we never did something before, we try to figure it out. Um, the dude over at BC Bikes, he is a smart dude. Like go watch some of his stuff. Um, he definitely, you know, is sort of like the expert and we just want to send a shout out to him. And then the second guy was who? The guy from Rasta Wainai? Rasta Gideon. Rasta Gideon from Wainai. Mahalo, brother. Yeah, mahalo. Thanks for watching the stuff and both of you guys for always leaving positive comments. And, you know, BC Bikes, he could be like, dude, you guys are doing this all wrong. What are you guys, you know, but he's super nice and he's super positive <laughs> and he's always like, hey, great video. And then here's some other info, right? So he's always been like super um, helpful with us. And so shout out to those two guys. All right. So today we thought we'd come out with a video. And again, this is just our humble opinion yeah. right yeah like you know we already said that we all we already don't know we're not the total experts on this kind of stuff so this video is just about some of the tools that we think you need in your garage if you're going to be working on bikes okay and some of it um you might agree with maybe some of it you don't who knows but this is just our humble opinion this is what we think Okay, yeah. so let's take a look at some of the stuff that we have it. We kind of laid some things out for you um, on Bernie's table over here. And let's, I guess let's just start off with a bicycle pump, right? I mean, everybody needs a pump. Yeah, you need a pump, whether it be manual or fancy kind like this. Yeah, you know? I used to run a manual pump, you know, one of those foot pumps. And when I picked one of these up, this is just a Ryobi. Uh, it uses one of those, just those batteries that, that a lot of us have in our garage for different power tools. And this thing itself is like, I think it was like 30 bucks. And yeah. it is the best freaking bicycle pump that I've ever used. Um, it's just light, battery lasts forever. And then you can just, you know, I don't have to like stand there and then just pump my tires. Well, so, you know, like use this kind. <laughs> yeah. We could definitely have a giant air compressor like Bernie has. We um, could do that. We could do that. But that sucker would take forever to fill up. Too noisy. Too noisy. Yeah. Now, going along with the bike stuff, um, I really like these. Um, these are just like, you know, tire, what is it, like a tire? Tire spoon? Tires, yeah, I don't know what the hell this is called. Yeah. Pedro's tire, it's not a tire wrench. No, it's on spoon. Like, like a spoon. Like it's, it's an actual spoon to remove the yeah. bead from your rim. So you use this to help take off the, the tire on your rim. And it's just, it's, I like this one from Pedro's because it's thick. What an auto one. 
supposed to there's, get two? There's a couple of them. I only just brought one. Oh. You know, I figure, ah, just going to bring one. But I like this one. They're really cheap. I think they're like only like five to ten bucks. And they're solid. Like, you get some that come with the tube. You know, when you buy like a, uh, yeah. a spare tube and it comes with Good one. Year. But they suck. They break. This guy yeah. has yet to break on me. So you need some sort of like this... You know, it helps take off the you know bead from the uh, from your tire. If you ever gotta go and you know swap out the tire on one of your rims, you want something that's plastic so that it also doesn't you know kind of scratch up your rim. Nah, okay? just use the two screwdrivers and bust up all your rims. <laughs> that's what we used to use, right, back in the day. <laughs> I remember using screwdrivers. Yeah. We use screwdrivers to take them off, and yeah. then you rip your 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 tube and you gash your rim. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares, right? We never have money for buy anything we fancy. Just steal them from your father. <laughs> All right, so let's. We got we got the tires. Uh, I don't know what that's called. I can't uh, tire spoon. Whatever. It's a spoon. It's a spoon. I'm okay. gonna say it's a spoon. All right. Okay. Let's talk. What what else? What else we want to talk about? How about this one? That's a pedal wrench, and pedal that's wrench. from Park Tools. And why don't you just show how easy that is to just, because we were, if you guys watched the other video where Bernie tried to use the Allen key on yeah, the back yeah. of that, you don't have a whole ton, a lot of leverage, but with the, with with the this pedal guy, wrench, look at that. you got a ton of leverage. This thing is huge. Yeah. It's just easy to break um, that, get, that, get that thing loose. And they have and, it for the 916 and then they have it for the half inch. Yeah. So that one's from Park Tool. Or we'll you put a little a description. Oh, yeah. Uh, in the, we'll put a link to a, to that tool in the description so you guys can pick one up if you want to. Pretty but gnarly. yeah, that's really nice to have. That thing is huge. Yeah. What else we got here? Well, you definitely need some sort of grease or lube for all your stuff. Got a lube on my. Gotta lube them. Gotta lube them, man. <laughs> oh, man. Not good and go. Yeah, you kind of just use spit, right? Yeah, you gotta okay. use some. Don't dry up the spit. You gotta use some <laughs> grease. Yes. And you can pretty much pick up whatever grease you want, whatever, something that you're comfortable with. We just <laughs> picked up. <laughs> I guess that sounded a little. <laughs> yeah, whatever you like. Whatever you like. Like I said, what tools you need? I told you, bro. Shoot from the hip on what I say. Oh my God! None of yeah. it is scripted. <laughs> we just we <laughs> see. This is what happens when we get together, and we—I promise—we're not eating any edible brownies. We're not smoking anything before we do this. We just uh, we just crack each other up. Anyway, this is the high performance grease HPG one. This yeah. is what we've been using for the Monza. Yeah. And then we get drunk on this. Let's talk about the alcohol. Antiseptic. Hoy. And why do we need alcohol? Why is that part of a, a basic toolbox for bikes? Why do you think that's part of it? What if you cut your hand? <laughs> you gotta clean the wound, cuz. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You <laughs> slip on the wrench, you might need to like kill yeah, the germs, yeah. right? What if, what Absolutely. If, yeah. But no, for but the bike. We use this. I use this mm -hmm. to remove grips. Yeah. If you've seen any of our videos, yeah, in which we've removed grips and we've caught some flack for that. Like we got a giant compressor in the back, and people are like, "Just use the compressor. It's faster. It's easier." Technically, yes, right? We yeah. could we could easily we could. use the compressor to pop off grips, but then you got to fill up that tank. We don't have that tank filled all the time. Yeah. We'd use it for like a couple seconds, yeah. and then it makes so much noise, and so. We found, and you know, this is this is Bernie's thing that he likes to use. You just take some alcohol, use either like a zip tie, or one of these. I don't know what is this, like a metal. Yeah, just go ahead and find something thin. This is stainless steel. Mm -hmm. This actually came from a wiper blade from a car. Ah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. when you gotta swap out your wiper yeah. blade, just save one of those. Yeah, things. but when you're 14 years old and you're snooping around your dad's toolbox, <laughs> nine times out of ten, you're not gonna get wiper blades laying around. Exactly. You know what I'm exactly. So, but zip, that's where zip tie works. Yeah. Now, zip tie can do the job. Can. It's just not as sturdy as you know yeah. putting this inside the grips. Because so the idea with this is you peel back you the peel grip, back, let out. you stick this inside in that little crack and then you pour some yeah. alcohol in there and then that just loosens it up. And but you need soft grips because the Amy Unitrons, because the center is a different material, that's not gonna, you're not gonna get yeah. it in there. Yeah, this one is, so not, gonna, is yeah. not gonna work. 
hard. The Amy's one, these, especially this yeah. this set, is really, really tough. It's tough. Yeah. It's a challenge. Like, I took these off on my own with water. And I, yeah. it took me like half an hour. Yeah, no I felt can. really stupid. But anyway. Okay. So that is why we got the alcohol over here. And then plus two, if you ever need to take off like anything that's, you know, greasy, you can like, yeah. you know, I took off the stickers. When I put the new set of stickers on, I'm going to just rub it down with rubbing alcohol, get off any, any contaminants on there mm -hmm. so that the sticker goes on better. But yeah, it's always good to have uh, isopropyl alcohol. Okay, next we got a chain breaker. Now this is kind of like one of those things that could be on maybe like a... A, a 2.0 toolbox because yeah. you don't necessarily will be cracking chains too often but it's a great tool to have because yeah. this makes breaking a chain so much easier if well, you go, save save yourself from actually getting in the car heading over to the bike shop you know maybe scheduling an appointment yeah when you can just do it yourself and be done with yeah you know and we like the park tool one because this guy is solid this thing yeah. is it's sturdy it's well made i actually broke two broke two other ones yeah i don't and, know where I stay in my toolbox and maybe. were those like from like amazon amazon kind of thing? Yeah. yeah amazon so these you know park tool stuff isn't cheap but to get good products i think you got to spend a little bit more money yeah and that's where this park tool chain breaker, I think this is, is a, worth it. Is the snap-on equivalent in the movie? Yeah, uh, yes, good uh, point. Yeah, what snap-on is to automotive park tool is, my opinion, um, bicycle. Yeah, they make some really good stuff. Yeah. Okay, next, we you definitely need a set of uh, Allen keys. And let's grab this one over here. Now, yeah. you can get the standard type like this that kind of has like this, yeah. you know, L shape, right? Yeah. Um, I think pretty much everybody has a set like this at home somewhere yeah. and they come in metric and standard sizes. But then you can also pick up an Allen key set that is more in like what they call like a T handle. Yeah. So you get, you can do it from here and you can do it there on the end. I like the T handle just because you get a little bit more leverage, you know, when you're trying to Mm -hmm. put some stuff in you can use this and you can really grab that you don't have quite the same amount of leverage when you use these yeah 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 and then if you notice some of the allen keys have kind of like this the rounded um, rounded yeah the rounded end yeah and that's so that you can get in you can actually put this in at an angle and still be able to like you know loosen up uh one of those bolts so but you definitely need Allen keys because on a bike, you're going to see, yeah. you, you need them for pretty much almost anything. You need it for yeah. like your stem, right? Your, your bolt that goes into your um, everything. headset, everything. right? Yeah. yeah. Everything. Pretty much, look, look around the bicycle and it's, everything is Allen. Yeah, everything is just some sort of Allen key. If you do like chain tensioners, like we have this from uh, Billet BMX, you need one in the back. You, you need stuff for the brakes. You, yeah. can, you can still use an Allen key for the yeah. um, pedals if you don't have a pedal wrench. Bottom bracket. You need it, yeah, for the bottom bracket here. You need it for your chain ring. Um, just about like, you know. Headset. Headset, your seat post clamp. Yeah, stand. Right? You're gonna need, so definitely get yourself a set of Allen keys. Yeah, they're not that, expensive. Yeah. You can bet you can pick those up pretty cheap. Home Depot, Lowe's. And again, you know, just kind of find one that whatever you like. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> whatever, whatever you like, like right? Yeah. It's just whatever whatever See? suits your purpose, right? Yeah. I like these. The Husky brand is from Home Depot. I just went and picked up a set from them. Okay. You are going to need some sort of a socket set. And let's talk a little bit about that next. Socket so why budget. would you need, need a socket set, Bernie, over like a huge... Um, you know, wrench like this, crescent wrench. Um, what's the advantage of having a set of sockets? Um, the reason why you get yourself a set of basic sockets is so that you can you can remove your axle nuts. You know, like yours is fancy, Kev, but you look at mine. Mm -hmm. Mine is traditional. That's so a traditional you, one. Yeah. You would need an open-end wrench or you would want sockets 
Uh, you can use the same for your seat adjustment here if you have this with the guts, mm -hmm. you know. Um, what else? Uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, just you look around at your bike and you figure out, you know, okay, do I really need a set or do I just need yeah. one? socket or whatever, so you, you know? could get away with not getting a set but what's nice about it is that again you can yeah. have you can have a little bit more leverage and then it has what is that thing called when it's um when you can you know keep cranking it you know how how sockets have this the ratchet the ratchet right <laughs> what is that called is that called a ratchet yes yeah this thing right here and then this this has a ratcheting head this is the ratcheting head this is the actual ratchet yeah and this is an open end with swivel head and ratchet yeah that's really nice to have yeah these are nice so that you don't have to just keep cranking it cranking yeah. it over you can just kind of like go yeah. up and down up and down up and down so um yeah i don't know why i couldn't think of the word there but yeah ratchet yeah so this kind of optional right it's nice to have yeah. as long as you have you can have something like this you can have a much smaller crescent wrench. You don't need something this gigantic. Yeah, not, but that, again, not that big. Yeah, like this on here would be kind of, you know, well, not on that one, Perfect. but on this one, yeah. you know, look how giant that's that how, is. That's the one I use for take off my wheels. <laughs> 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 so some set of wrenches, right? Whether you use your own crescent or whether you get one of these yeah. or you get a socket set. Um, some set of, of wrenches and again metric or standard kind of just depends on on the type of bike that you have and the type of you well 90% today is, all, is metric. all metric right unless you start buying parts um, that are made in America that they go back to using the standard yeah. um, not metric you know yeah so yeah it's up to you I think the last thing on our list is just a pair of wire cutters, right? In case you need to like, yeah. you know, trim some brake cables. Um, that's pretty much it, right? What else would you need wire cutters for? That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Unless you piss off your friend, <laughs> cut his spokes or whatever, you know? Yeah, that would not be good to be yeah. cutting off someone's spokes. But yeah, you could yeah. do that. But you don't, as you can see, you don't need a lot of stuff for your bicycle toolkit. You can just kind of get started. This is just stuff that you can use to get started, right? Yeah. Um, obviously, the more you start working on bikes, the more you start doing different things, you're gonna buy some other parts. And we'll talk about that in another video, kind of like oh. what's the next version of, you know, when you wanna jump up to the, to the next level. You know what I wanna mention, Kevin? Mm. Since we're talking about tools, okay? Here, hold on a sec, because whenever we go riding, you know, I carry. Oh yeah, let's talk about stuff that you should be carrying. We carry with you. We carry Camelback, and in this thing, besides water, mm -hmm. and this is what we were explaining about to you guys at home. So, literally, open end wrenches. Okay. For whatever I have on my bike, that yep. I need this, and then. This is kind of important for myself. All my different Allen wrenches. Mm -hmm. Right here. Because, believe it or not, in one of these is an American size. It's not a metric. Mm. And that's because profile, mm -hmm. they use SAE or American, not millimeters. Okay. And I think it's... So on the I think on it's your this, stem? I think it's this guy right here. There. Yeah. That's the only thing that is American. Mm -hmm. The rest is all metric. And you could also buy like one of those little metric. like multi-tools that yeah. has a bunch of those Allen keys on it. Yeah. I have one of those that I just stick in my bag. This is all my extra mechanic yeah. parts. Yeah. Yeah, see, I get extra snap on, you know. But all you need is just like, you know, Cheap you can just go into your toolbox. And then. And look for all the extra so, stuff that you have and just put that in your bag. We're almost done, but let me throw this back in here so I don't lose them. And then go to Walmart and get yourself. This is a must. Oh, yeah. A Schwinn pump. <laughs> 
And some sort of a pump that you can yeah. use out on the road, right? So you get Schrader mm. and you get Presto. Yep. So you get that option. But this thing had, had actually helped me while I was in Phoenix one time, mm. riding in the mountain preserves. I thorn in the tire, but I had an extra tube. Mm -hmm. Boom. You know, saved yeah. my life. So if you guys are going on ride outs where you're gonna do like you know 20 miles 30 miles bring the stuff bring, you need to bring tools with you like yeah. we we had rides ruined right we were gonna go, <laughs> remember that we we're gonna go ride with one of our friends from high school yeah drove all the way out to where we were gonna start our ride by the bike path yeah um and then pulled out the bikes and then started you know bernie jumped on the hutch and then for some reason, his back, the back bolts just yeah. weren't tight enough. The axle nut was not tight yeah. enough. I was, I'd clean my bike, I think, that weekend. Yeah, I think you polished it. You kind of like, yeah. you know, kind of gave took it some a good, stuff apart, a deep right? Cleaning yeah. that day. But somehow in putting it back, the bolts just weren't, weren't I, cinched enough or whatever. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so we're out there. We're all ready to start. Bernie takes a couple spins on the pedal and then the thing just like slides in. Yeah. And we're like, uh oh. So <laughs> could have had a chain tensioner. <laughs> yeah. If he had those tools in there, we yeah. would have been fine. But would no, have. we had to, he ran into like Ross. You had to go look for some spare tools. And Ross never had tools then. Yeah, day. what did they have? You, you ended Stupid up coming out. pliers. Yeah. <laughs> he ended yeah, up buying pliers. I showed you the pliers. <laughs> Stupid pliers. He ended pliers. up buying pliers and pretty much ruining the bolts because he was kind of pissed by that point. And so he was like just getting the, the pliers and just trying to like crank it as, as hard as he could. I thought and it was the Hulk. So Yeah, and then all like these bolts just we're just trashed you yeah. have to get new ones in it <laughs> yeah here's my He's ross it's about that my ross special right yeah here. right there yeah yeah that was baby. the only tool that they had at yeah. that time in that ross where yeah. it was even close to that dollar 99 i think was. and you know and what happened was it didn't work and then we just had to like we had to cancel the ride throw yeah. the bikes back in the in the truck and so ever since then I also now ride <sighs> with tools, and Bernie always has tools with him. So yeah, always. Yeah, you know, you live and learn, right? Kind of like the, <laughs> the story of our channel. <laughs> yeah. You live, and you learn. You do some stuff. You that's make right. mistakes. You fix it. You move on. Yeah. All right. Anyway, I think that's that's our basic toolkit. Tell us what you think. Do you agree with what we have? Did we miss something? We also didn't put in a screwdriver, but. There's not a lot of stuff you need a screwdriver for, but Unless, obviously, yeah. you know, having a screw screwdriver might help. Yeah. But yeah. You don't really need one. You know what you need it for, is to pop up the pop off the reflectors when you buy a new bike. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> the ones on your pedals. Yeah. I can't stand that. All the reflectors. That's the first thing that I take off. I mean, it's not the safest thing, but anyway, yeah. it looks better that way. Yeah. Right? Cool. <laughs> not uncool. Right. Yeah. Okay, so that's going to do it for us for this video. Let, again, let us know what you think. Should, did we miss a part Should we or a tool? Should we put something else on there that we missed? Put it in the comments and uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we'll be back with another video, I guess, taking it to the next level. If you want to up your tool game, what other parts you might need, stick around for that. That'll be in another video. Yeah. And uh, hey, oh, did you want to talk about <laughs> your build <laughs> didn't you want to talk about your build we got a couple parts yeah before we we'll go talk about the build let's, let's talk about yeah the build. because people might be wondering how is the build going on the hutch the hutch z frame the hutch z frame build let me tell you a little story about that <laughs> oh so, yes we got it we got it we got to share this yeah we got to share. you okay. know what? it's my turn okay Okay. So here's a couple of things that Bernie ordered. Okay. All right. So first, let's go with, with let's start here with the chain ring. Okay. So we got the chain ring. Night bike company. Night bike. Is that a polished? Or chrome. Chrome. Nice. This is the chrome. Nice. 33. 33 tooth. So I'm running in the future going to be 3315. Okay. That's my gearing on. Yep. Possibly 175 cranks or 170. Haven't decided yet. But that's that's the gearing. And then the spider, the spider, I think this is chrome. That's the one like I had, yeah, right? The yeah. one that I put on yes. the Monza. And 
fortunately, I have two adapters, Kevin. Very two. good. They're going to fit this <laughs> in Smart. a 19 millimeter. Smart man. <laughs> See, I didn't do that. So at least we won't have that problem. See, we live and learn. We live and learn. Live okay? and learn. So, and then, hey, these nuts. <laughs> so tell me, guys, red, chrome. What do you see wrong? Okay, I tell you what is wrong. <laughs> I needed another pack of this to make four. <laughs> I needed another pack of that to make four. One wheel oh, set, one wheel God. set. Yeah. Look. <laughs> he <one> was so <laughs> excited when I texted him. I said, hey, Billet BMX has their stuff in stock. You better order them today. Yeah. He went, he only ordered enough for one wheel. I don't know how to count this way. He's not looking to make this a multicolored wheel set build. Nope, not right? at all. If you notice, the red doesn't even match the colors that he wants on that Z-frame. So, yeah, he just yeah. was not... Chrome for Z frame, <laughs> red for chrome frame. Yeah. So basically, this is for the chrome frame, and this is for the Z the frame. White one. Yeah. But yeah, see, bocce on me because I I make fun <laughs> of you, Kevin, and it had happened to me. Hey, that's so all right. I had to go order again. Luckily, they still had it in stock, though, right? But I'd miss out on the stupid Labor Day oh, sale. Oh, the Labor Day sale. That's right? right. Had I been smart. Right. That's right. And placed the correct order and the correct amounts, I would have had taken advantage of 10% off. But, eh. Hey, oh, well. Live and learn, right? Live and learn. See? <laughs> I think that's going to be our new model. Bro. Live and learn. I wasn't even <laughs> drinking that day. I come home from work all excited. Order them. Oh. Uh... Lose money. Lose money. Yeah. <laughs> I'd learn. <laughs> that's all right. You know, that's that's what we do here in Bernie's Garage. We yeah. live and learn. We live and learn. <laughs> live and learn. <laughs> all right. That'll do it for us this week. Hey, oh, if you guys stuck around, consider liking, consider subscribing yeah. if you're not a subscriber. Thank you very much. Thanks to all the guys that are watching our stuff and leaving comments. And if you got a buddy who's into BMX and... Um, you think they might be interested, you know, send them links to our video, tell them, check us out. We'd love to have more people join our little community. We appreciate everybody who's watching and, uh, yeah, until the next one. Hey, we will see you again on the next video. Until then, take care of one another. Be safe. Aloha. Aloha.